Right, following on from our video of the keeping the head down, yes or no, this is another one that pops up all the time when I'm doing a coaching session, is about keeping that lead arm straight. So some people get really overextended, hyperextended in that lead arm. So is that massively important? Does that clinch the whole shot? So welcome to Mark Amy Golf. We're gonna clear that matter up. Should that lead arm be fully straightened on that backswing? Now to answer that question quite quickly in regards to our lead arm, you need to do the lat test. As you can see me demonstrating in the screen now, that is the lat test. So you've got three points. So your reference point is the nose. So if you're struggling to keep those arms straight as you go up, and they start to bend just before you get to the nose, that's category one. Category two is you get in between the nose and the wall, and category three, if you keep your arms dead straight and get all the way to the wall. So if you achieve category three, then your lead arm, you've got the physical capabilities of keeping that lead arm straight. If you're in category number one, you've got absolutely no chance unless you do something about it. Number two, you should allow the lead arm to bend slightly. So if you do that test, work out what category you're in, then you can work out what you should be doing on the backswing. So as you can see in the screen now, if you're trying to force that lead arm to be straight, there's so many different causes it can have effect that you would definitely want to avoid. So you've got loss of posture because there's too much strain you put down the lats which will then cause the shoulders to go flat which will then cause an early extension and also you're putting too much strain to get the high hands with that extension out which will then cause you to reverse spine angle. So that's some major characteristics, faults, however you want to describe it from you just trying to keep that lead arm straight which will put a massive strain on the rest of the body of the shoulder of the t-spine and then the rest of the body has got to try and compensate for you to rotate and get those high hands now to get round it is it's quite straightforward so you can do a shorter swing so the obvious one is that shorter swing so you swing shorter before that lead arm has to bend in. Number two is just so when you swing back is to allow the lead heel to lift up off the floor so when you're turning those hips, so a bigger hip turn you allow that lead foot to come off the floor so that naturally comes up which will enable you then to get the higher hands. So everything's turned back and there's not le a lot less strain on that. The next one is just allow the lead arm to bend, let it bend. Let it bend. The important bit is that it's, it's extended as you go through the ball. That's the important bit. That's why we want it to be nice and straight as we go through. So as you swing up, if you allow it to bend, you put an extra hinge in, which could then potentially produce some more power as you unhinge it as you go through the ball. So you need to do that lap test first. Which category you're in? One, two, or three and then work out thinking, well, I've been trying to keep that arm dead straight, and it, it can just cause total chaos. So just forget about it. Don't deliberately bend it, just gradually ease that in. So when you do a practice swing, rather than making sure that arm's extended, just relax it, allow it to just feel a lot more relaxed rather than being hyperextended. If you try and hit balls and deliberately bend it, all your timing will go to pot. So it's a gradual process just don't get obsessed with keeping that lead arm straight on the backswing. Flip it on its head and get obsessed with really getting a good extension through the ball, which will help you improve your quality of strike, which then improves your distance. Right, any questions or comments, please send them through. Give us a good thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you soon.